Welcome to this Absolute Beginner's Blender tutorial number 10. What we'll do in this tutorial, we'll discuss how to keep your edges and corners sharp while using the subdivision surface modifier and also how to make a hole. We have this cube. We'll go into edit mode. Look at it from above into orthogonal view. Zoom in a little bit. I want to subdivide this by pressing W, subdivide, and I want six cuts, so I get seven across. And I'll make sure I'm in edit mode, uh, um, in edge mode, and I'll shift or alt select and alt shift select the r these rings of um, edges around uh, the cube. Go back to this top mode. Scale X. We'll scale in X mode. I'll get it there and I'll do the same alt select, alt shift select, scale Y. You can hold down the shift key to make this maneuvering a little bit more precise. I'll shift to the front view by pressing 1, Alt, right click, Alt, Shift, right click, and scale Z. And that's about right there. I can now, if I now add the subdivision surface modifier, then I can see if I go back to object mode, you can see how the corners are still reasonably sharp. This can be adjusted by tightening up the corners. I go back to edit mode and look at what the corners look like. And we can tighten it up a little bit more. S scale Z and like that. But that's just a personal preference. This is the way, this is a topological way of making your edges and corner still be sharp when you're using the subdivision surface modifier. Now we're, with this knowledge we're going to make a hole. I'll press 7 to look at it from the top. I'll control tab to change to face mode and I'll select the top the middle 9. Delete the faces. We'll this remove the operator display or the modifier display and then delete the faces in the bottom too. Now there's a hole straight through this but I would like to have a round hole in this. So to do that I can uh, I'll use the cursor to help me get it aligned. I'll, I'll do mesh, snap, cursor to center, and then... Oh, I don't, didn't have to go through that, but I can... I'll control tab, choose edge, select, alt select this edge, look at it from the front, go press Z to see the mesh display, and I'll do mesh snap cursor to select it. Then the cursor will align with uh, the selected ring of edges. I'll press Z to go back to solid mode and 7 to look at it from the top. I want to add to this object, now add more mesh to the object, mesh circle, and I want the circle to be 12, control tab, okay I am in edge mode so I can scale it down here and I can rote R for rotate and rotate it up in alignment so it looks good. I would like to do this here and uh, do Alt F to beautify, fill it, but we're going to regret that and the regret the last one because I want a rim on this on this ring here so I'll press E extrude extrude 
left mouse, scale, then you get a rim, and now I can do the beauty fill, Alt F, and it's beauty fill, and I want quads, these are triangles, I press Alt J, and in this case that works just fine, it turns into quads. So now we have the top hole, looks good. Go back to 7, top view, and I want to select this ring. I ch shift to 1 in the front view and Z to see, see through. And um, I want to extrude this and just a little bit, just a short distance, so I get a double edge extrude, and just like that. Go back to object mode and look at that opening, and that looks good. You can press A and select everything and set smooth shading. And now you can see it, this doesn't look really good, but that's because the normals are not quite right. So I can press Control N. No, excuse me. Uh, in edit mode, I can press Control N and it recalculates the normals on the outside and I'll go back and then it looks good. Okay, we want this hole to go through the entire object, so we'll select, alt select this ring and go back to front mode, front view, Ex turn it, turn to grid display and extrude and extrude it down to here and then extrude again look at it from the bottom Turn back to solid and control 7 to look at it from the bottom. This is what it looks like. 7. No, control 7 to look at it from the bottom. And extrude. Left mouse. No, that didn't feel right. You can see that it was shoving over, so we'll regret that. Control Z. Okay, we're still there. Have we done the extra there? No. Sometimes it's better to just back up. So there. Go back to front view, Z to see through. So okay, there, and then extrude. And we're there, and the solid. Bottom, control 7. Extrude left mouse, scale, okay now we're good, and alt shift, and alt f, and alt j, and now you're over here, we'll go back and um, a for everything, we have to press smooth again. Look at it. It looks like the normals are okay. So here we go. Here's a cube that we're using the subsurface modifier or subdivision surface modifier. And uh, we also have made a hole and everything looks sharp. Or all the edges are sharp. If you want to change so that the, this hole has a different characteristics, you can go in and do that. So let's go in and look at it and, and say, okay, we want this to be a little bit, a little bit smoother opening, not as sharp or not as abrupt. So let's say we can scale that up a little bit, scale, and then go back, go to face mode and alt select. 
there you go and take the we're all in global mode now and everything is just aligned so we'll just push that down and we go back and then you see that the characteristics of that opening is different not like that one so this is just a matter of preference or what what your design purposes are and as you can see you get that little bit of a squarish it's not perfectly round so you'll have to go in and, and uh, maybe fix that from the bottom or from the top scale it and this is something that you can work on but what you have to do is you have to plan ahead what kind of options you want want maybe you have to make several divisions of this rim so you have more control maybe this here needs to be further away we can do a control edge edge slide and scale and then you can work with the topology to create the exact opening you, you want but that's um, up to you Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.